hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial from the file ICT Academy video library in this video tutorial I will be answering uh, the was ICT elective exam paper 3 uh, this exam is the fourth series in 2025 as you can see here on the screen uh, is the first series in 2025 for private candidates uh, so uh, as you can see uh, it has uh, the first question which is question number one is a database question which is uh, most people use Microsoft Access for this and then the second question is QBasic and then the third question is HTML uh, but in this tutorial I will be um, answering the Microsoft Access uh, question okay so most of the time i advise students to uh, before attempting any practical question first read all the options there um, or read all the questions that are stated here so as you can see it says uh, use an appropriate database application um so most uh, schools or most students uh, will be using Microsoft Access <coughs> uh, but I believe you can use any uh, database application um, depending on the, the requirements uh, so here we have create a database named sales in the folder created on your desktop uh, create a table named uh, TBL sales as shown in the structure below and this is the table that you are going to be creating a database for and then here you have format the drinks um, field to a look up field where the various drinks could be displayed for selection and uh, letter d says use a query to compute uh, the sales for each drink using price equals to price multiplied by quantity uh, sold and then here you have uh, save the query as query sales or qry sales and then letter f says uh, use the table tbl sales to create a form to show the following um, field which is drinks and quantity sold um, if you have been uh, using databases um, uh, you realize that it's not uh, a very difficult question um maybe the tricky part will be uh, letter d but i will show you how you can easily solve that problem okay so first um like i said you read the questions first so let's let's open microsoft access and then we do this uh, step by step okay so as you can see i have microsoft access um open here uh, it depends on the version that you are using um, if you're using even Microsoft Office 2010 that's okay um, for me on this tutorial I'll be using Microsoft Access uh, 2019 pretty much the same with uh, any version that you'll be using right now so let's click on blank database uh, okay so first but before we come to this uh, remember if you look at uh, the question the first step that you need to do is to create a folder which i have done already so as you can see uh, you always make sure that you read the question because it says you have 10 minutes to read through the question paper before the start of the examination so this is very important okay because it will be a disaster if you do not create a folder or you save your work somewhere else and then <coughs> your file is not saved or in a flash drive so please this step is very important so if you look at here you say this is for candidate uh, whose name is jalo sar demba okay so it's demba sar jalo so as you can see and that is the index number so this is how your folder should be named your index number first and then uh, your surname and your middle name uh, and then your first name so make sure you have this index number um 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 um, um. Uh, it makes to uh, your folder is saved with the with this format and then it should also be saved on the desktop 
button to create a folder on the desktop so make sure your folder is created on the desktop so this is the first step so once you did this then now um <coughs> you can proceed into the questions so here uh, let's start with the with the database question so here we have uh, create a database and you name it as sales so let's create the database so as you can see the first thing that i did was to click uh, blank database and then uh, here i'm going to call this as uh, sales um sales just like how it is in the question <coughs> and then once i do that i have to click on the folder icon here which is the browse button and i have to locate my desktop and inside my desktop i have to locate my folder now as you can see i have uh, uh the folder here so i'm going to open my folder um, and then i'm going to click ok uh, so as you can see the path here i have actually um, i'm going to save this database inside the folder that i have created so once i'm done with that i will click um create so now that i have the database created the next step um is to actually create the table so if you look at in the uh, b says create a table name tbl sales are shown in the structure below so let's create a table <coughs> so as you can see we have table one so i'm going to right click and then say uh, design view so once you click on design view you are going to see table one so i'm going to save this as um uh tbl sales tbl sales and then i will click okay okay so that's uh the second thing that you need to do so next c says format the drinks so i'm going to now um enter these fields okay so as you can see i have first i have id id is already created for me and then uh, i have drinks so let me type i have drinks and then uh, i have price and then uh, okay i have price in dallas okay i have price in dallas and then i have uh, quantity quantity sold and uh, the last one is sales okay so as you can see here i have already typed all the 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 fields that are required for the table and uh, but as you can see in the table or in the questions you are not uh, uh, the examiner did not give you <coughs> will not or so most of the time yeah i've not seen any question where the examiner gives also the data type that you need to use so you have to check the fields <coughs> if i look at the fields then i should identify which uh, field or which data type is more appropriate for that field now looking at id if you look at the values on the id you'll see that it has letters and numbers t001 so you should know that the default um the default uh, data type that is uh, populated there is not appropriate for that type of data so here we're going to change that to text text or subtext dependent on the version that you are using uh, so let's look at the, the next one which is um, <coughs> drinks drinks should be text uh, price could be currency but the problem is going to be if you put currency there because once you put currency as the data type the default yeah. currency type there is going to be in dollars and as you can see here we have dollar c so to be on the safe side you can use number because you will be able to use it to perform calculation and uh, the quantity also number the sales number so that we'll be able to perform uh, calculations uh, okay so from here um uh, if you look at let's go back to the question uh, it says format drinks um, field to a lookup field where the various drinks could be displayed for selection so this is going to be a lookup wizard so i'll go to the drinks um, data type and then i click and then i go to lookup wizard then from here i will choose the second option 
which is I will type the values that I want. Uh, then within the list here, so let's see the values that are there. Uh, Coke, Fanta, Pepsi, and Sprite. So I will type Coke, uh, Fanta, Pepsi, and uh, uh, which one again? Uh, Sprite. Okay, Sprite. Then from here, I can even click finish. Okay, so I've added a lookup wizard there. Okay, so now I can go to datasheet view to view how my table looks like. So from here, I'll click yes to save the changes on the table that I just made. Okay, so as you can see, um, we now have uh, the structure of the table and then here as you can see we have a lookup wizard with a list of um, the items that we've just typed and then we have uh, the number data type in, in 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 all these three fields so let me now add the uh, information that is here so let me just type the information quickly then we can proceed Yeah, so as you can see, I have already typed the data uh, that is on the table. Okay, so we can now proceed uh, to the next question. Uh, on the next question, it says use a query to compute the sales for each drink using uh, sales equals to price times uh, quantity sold okay so let's see how that is done so let me just click save to save my table and then from here i will go to create and then i go to query wizard from query wizard i will just make so simple query wizard is selected and i click ok and uh, from here i can decide to choose which fields do i want um, so i will choose all of them maybe except sales okay so i'll create that one when i reach uh in the query design view so i'll click next and then uh, i will leave it to detail query field and then i click next and then uh, the query should be saved as uh, q qry sales right qry sales and then i click finish okay so the query is created and uh, i'm going to view the query in the design view so that i'll be able to do what i wanted to do so here what we want to do is to perform calculation and the calculation we are going to perform will uh, uh, uh will multiply the price by the quantity the price by the quantity so here the technique that you are going to use is you just come into the field here mm, after the quantity sold you type uh, sales okay you type sales so be careful every detail here matters okay after typing sales which is actually going to be uh, the name of the field in the query sales okay so uh, we are performing calculation here okay so we are creating what is called a calculated field so here after the cells you put a colon then after the colon now you are going to add the name of the field and this is very very important now look at here look at the name of the field here so what we're going to do uh, the exact name so you are going to use the square bracket so i'm going to type the two square brackets so in the middle there i'm going to say price price so remember the exact way that you name uh, the field that's the how you should type it here so as you can see i said price and there's a space and then you have a bracket open and then you have dollar c okay and then from there what you need to do so let me just expand here so that you can see what i am doing perfect yeah. so as you can see uh the field name the exact field name that is here is embraced uh, within a square bracket so from here i'm going to use the multiplication sign 
which is uh, shift and number eight on your keyboard that is the asterisk and then from there i'm going to now type another uh, square brackets and then in the middle of the square brackets i'm going to type the quantity sold okay remember you have to type it exactly how it looks okay the case doesn't matter it can be small letters but it has to contain the same characters okay the same spacing so from here now let's run and see so i will come here so make sure you are on the query design and then you click run so once you click run you will see that uh, it has actually multiplied the price by the quantity using uh, the calculated field okay so let's go back and check as you can see so let's say for example i i remove that space and then click run you see you're gonna have uh, uh, an issue like this it will think that you are trying to create a parameter uh, query okay so every single uh, uh, detail here matters so the spacing that is between price and uh, uh, bracket with the dollar c all matters so make sure here as you can see there is no space here even between the uh the fourth cell uh, yeah. the fourth uh, field and the second field so in between you have the uh the multiplication sign and there is also space immediately after so let's see what happens if i remove that space and then click run okay it still works okay it still works okay but just in case it doesn't work you leave space but even if you look at here automatically even after clicking run uh, after removing the space when i click run you see now it even adds space there automatically okay so this is how you perform uh, that calculation so now let's uh, go back to the question so that we can finalize uh, so here it says save the query as query sales it's already done and then next it says use the table um, use the table tbl uh, tbl sales to create a form to show the following so we are in the form we are only going to show drinks and quantity sold okay so let's go to create and from create we go to ways 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 form okay we go to form yeah let's use form where is form wizard yes we go to form wizard it says what you must save the query okay perfect so let's save our query let's save our query let's click on save to save the query perfect so we go back to form wizard and then as you can see it says we are only going to choose drinks and quantity sold so we'll click quantity sold uh yeah sorry drinks we transfer drinks and then we transfer quantity so we click next here we can leave it a tabula and then here we're going to name it as uh so let's just remove this the question say we name it as frm sales okay in capital letters frm sales then we click finish so as you can see we have created a form that displays only the drinks and the quantity uh, sold uh, save the form as form sales okay so that's it so we have completed uh, that uh, question uh, so as you can see uh, in the in the in the in this um, tutorial i have shown you how to perform uh, uh, calculated or how to create a calculated field uh, using uh, a query and uh, just please do not forget how this is done because you never know in uh, future exams a question like this might come okay so um, I hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials so inshallah i will try to answer the other question which is the q basic and uh, and uh, html question so see you next time bye bye